In this video, you're going to learn how to complete a unit in MathAS. So there are 12 units in this course. They're broken into four modules, and each module has three units and an exam. So we are on the course page, and remember you can see the assignments on the calendar, but to access a unit, you should go to Course Content. Okay. Now notice Module 1 is open. You may start and see it like this but you can click on this arrow to open Module 1. So here are the three units in Module 1, and then there's a review, and when you complete the review, you'll take an exam. So let's go to Unit 1. So basically, you'll click on a unit and complete everything in the folder from top to bottom. Okay. You can access these assignments from here, but I recommend that you go to the unit folder because it has more important information, including the media lessons and the packets you should print out. So let's go to Unit 1. So notice Unit 1 has a calculator video. You should buy the calculator as soon as possible. It's not too expensive. I think it's about $15. You can use it for this class and your next class. And it will really help you navigate through the lessons and check your work. So you can watch the calculator video first. Some people like to watch it after the media lesson. Okay. Now, to start Unit 1, the first thing you need to do is a media lesson. Here are the videos, and here's the packet. So this is like the lecture portion of the class. So we saw the media lessons are also in course materials, but you can access them one by one in each unit. So I'm going to click on this. Uh, so you need to print this out because you're going to fill this in like a workbook, and then this is going to be your reference later for your notes. So you should read through the first page. Okay. Here you're going to read. And then you're going to see problems that say media examples. They have little computers. That means there's a video associated with this problem. You're going to watch the video, listen, and write down everything you see. Okay, again for your notes. And then after you watch a video, there's a problem called a you try problem. It has a little pencil. And you can see that it's similar to the video you just watched. So this is for you to try to see if you understood the concept. All of the you try answers are located in course materials so you can check your work when you're done. And then you're going to repeat this process for the entire media lesson. So now here, these are the videos. Okay, This one has a lot of videos, some of them have less. Okay? And if you click on the first video, It will play right in your window. Let's make sure this is muted. And you can also make it larger here. Okay. And then to see the next one, you can just click this arrow and that will be your next video. Okay. You can pause it when you want. There are closed captioning, so some people like to watch, listen, and read at the same time. Okay. So you go through all of these videos and then you've completed the media lesson assignment. Okay, There's nothing to turn in for the media lesson assignment, but make sure you do these media lessons anyway. So I used to have students scan their media lesson packets and email them to me, and then I would check them. It was a big hassle for everyone. But you don't want to skip these because this is like trying to do your homework without going to class if you don't do the media lesson. So after you complete the media lesson, your next task is to complete the online homework. Notice this is what we call grayed out. It's grayed out and you can't access it, you can't click on it. And whenever this happens, you should look at the instructions underneath. So it says this assignment will not open until you complete your orientation assignment. So the orientation assignment was in the Start Here Course Orientation folder, and you need to get 100% before this will open. Okay. Notice the Unit 1 quiz is also gray. This won't open until you earn at least 190 points out of 200 points on the Unit 1 homework. So this is so uh, you can't skip any assignments in this course. You have to go through one by one and follow them in the correct order. So, so now I went and I completed the orientation assignment to open this homework assignment. Okay. So I'm going to click on the homework assignment. Okay. So a few things to look at. All of the questions are here. So this one has 29 questions. To uh, 
skip around, you can click on any question. Okay. And also to get to a next question, you should quick, click, click on the question on the left. So let's look at this problem as an example. So notice um, there are four things you need to enter. There's a worked example, so let's click on that. Every problem has a worked example. And notice this is just like the problem you've been given, except the numbers are different. Okay, and it goes through the problem step by step and explains the information on the right. So for any problem where you get stuck, you should try to do it on your own first. But if you get stuck, you should look at uh, the worked example to get some help. Okay, now I'll close this out. There's also a video, and the video will take you to a problem that was similar in the media lesson. So if you want to hear and see it done step by step instead of um, just reading about it, you can click on this. So I've entered some answers here. Not all of them are right, but I enter the answers and I hit submit. Okay, and then I see I have three of the problems correct and this one is not correct. Okay, so I can try it again. Okay, so notice it says this is attempt two of three. It's still wrong. I can try it again. And now it's still wrong, so I have three out of the four correct, and it gives me the final answer. So now I can look, oh, this rounded to the nearest hundred was supposed to be 700. So uh, hopefully this will help you see what you've done wrong. You can also look at the worked example and video. Okay. If you have any questions, or if you're thinking that's just not right, you can click on Message My Instructor about this question, and I will see the exact problem you're working on, so that way I can help you with it. Um, it's best if you can give me some information, like I'm having problems on round 702, wouldn't it be this? Okay, so I don't have to go through every problem, I could just focus on what you need help with, and I can also get a better understanding of what you may be missing. And most of the time it's just something really small that you need a little help on, uh, so please feel free to message me whenever you'd like. Now notice here there's a check, and it's kind of this yellowish, greenish color, okay, but this doesn't mean that uh, this is your final score. For the homework, you can try the problems as many times as you like. So I'm going to click on Try Another Similar Question. Notice all the numbers have changed. And now I've entered the correct answers. Okay, notice it went back to Attempt 1 of 3. I hit Submit, and now I have full credit on this problem. Okay, so even though, notice it's out of 200 points, even though you only need 190 points, you should really go through all of these and get 100. You don't know what's going to be on the quiz, and you don't know what's going to be on the exam, so you want to make sure that you understand everything. It's also helpful if you keep notes as you go. You can use your notes on the quiz to refer back to to help you if needed. Okay, so that's the homework assignment. And then... Remember, you need 190 points on the homework assignment before you, this quiz will open. So, I just went back and gave full credit for this assignment. You'll, of course, have to do it, and now the quiz is open. So, let's see what the quiz is like. Notice you have 45 minutes to complete the quiz. It's timed. Okay. You can't start the quiz and then come back a few hours later and finish it. You need to do this in one 45-minute setting. Okay. So, make sure when you go to take this, you're ready to take this. Okay, you're ready. You have your 45 minutes. It probably won't take you that long. So it'll let you know that there's a time limit to make sure you're ready. And every quiz has 10 questions. Um, these should look familiar. All of these are from your homework assignment, uh, but again, they'll be different numbers. Okay, so unlike the homework, you do have multiple attempts, but you only have two attempts, and you can't try a similar question. So, I clicked on the second question, I put in some answers, I hit submit, and I have 5 out of 10, so this one is incorrect, so I can try it again. And now I click submit, and I have full credit. But after two attempts, it will tell you the answer, so you could see if you did get something wrong, what the correct answer was, but you cannot retry the question. So notice there's no try another similar problem here. Okay, and once you finish a question, again, you have to click on another problem and click on any one you want and complete the quiz with the 10 questions. 
So this is the process for completing a unit. So let's go back to module one. Okay, This is actually looking just at this folder. I prefer to look at it here. So there's unit one. You're going to do that for unit two. So media lesson, homework, quiz. Okay. Also, you need to get at least 70 on the quiz or the next assignment will, won't open. So if I go to unit two, integers, okay, the media lesson is always open, but notice the homework isn't open until you get 70 points or higher on the unit one quiz. So if you don't, you can retake it, but you need to contact me and I'll send you some review work. Okay. So then you complete unit two after unit one, then unit three, and now let's look at the review. So you're almost ready for your first exam. There are two reviews for you to complete. The first is a paper review on units one through three, and there's a recommended procedure for this. Again, you don't need to submit this to me, but some of your questions or very similar ones may be in this paper review. Okay, So you should print this review, um, try each problem individually, Check the answer key, see which ones you got incorrect. You can go back and watch the videos for those. Okay. And then you also need to complete this Math AS review. Okay. And uh, after you do this, the exam one password will open. Okay. So you need to earn 270 points on the review. It's 300 points. You should shoot for 300 because, again, those ones you miss may be on the exam. Okay. Then you'll click on this, and when this is open, you'll be given a reminder of how you take the exam through Respondus Lockdown Browser, okay, which you have done uh, or are about to do uh, as part of your orientation assignment. Okay, and this will give you the password so you can take the exam. Okay, so that's how you complete a unit, that's how you complete a module. There are four modules, there are four exams. They're not cumulative. They're cumulative in the sense that uh, the material builds on each other, but you won't have a specific integer question on uh, Module 2. You'll just have Module 2 material, which may use ideas from integers. Okay. I hope this was helpful. You can always come back and look at this if you've forgotten, and or send me a message if you get stuck.